This time on Rock Up Racing, the team dives headfirst into carbon fiber production, tackling the challenge of creating molds from the metal panels they sourced online. With limited experience in crafting carbon components, can they master the process and have the panels ready in time for the 2025 season? Welcome to Rock Up Racing. to rock up racing things are moving quickly so we're gonna get over to the other unit and go check out the camaro and see what grandmaster paul has been doing why are you hitting things when i'm trying to do this tom something i'm sorry what are you fixing I'm sorry doing my job charlie what are you fixing um i'm just gentle persuasion on the door latch for a porsche quickly show us come on let's have a quick look so when this was a, a late be careful when this was at a car wash, apparently the door was slammed and it wasn't completely shut, so it's bent the insides of the the latch. Right. And it's stopping it from kind of... Like it opens properly now, so I fixed it, but... Okay. Um, yeah, and it was just dragging on that, so every time you try to shut the door, it just made a horrible banging noise and the door didn't actually close, but now it does, because... So this, this doesn't fit. Wait. Why does it not fit? <laughs> Because I think the, the lower bumper is an RS or a Z28 and the upper okay. bumper is a standard Camaro with no options. The lower mould came with the car. So that does fit? We have no idea if it fits or not. It's a bit of a gamble making a bumper out of it, isn't it? Yeah, but we're learning. Okay, that's good. We're learning. So we're learning. Everyone, that's fine. With the lower valance of the car mismatched to the upper, the team catches a lucky break. The Camaro came with a mould for a lower bumper. Their goal is to fabricate the part in carbon fiber, not just to practice their techniques, but to check if it fits and avoid the hassle of modifying or importing another one. We've waxed the bumper. Mold. mold will allow us to remove the carbon part easier. Um, oh, and we're just going to do a quick and dirty wet layup. No vacuum bag, no infusion, no nothing. Because we, we needed to buy how much vacuum bagging? Something like a thousand meters or something? Ten thousand pounds worth, you said. Yeah, ten grand's worth. Yeah, ridiculous. We're not buying ten grand's worth of bags. Not yet. So they do give us free Haribos. They do. This is 3K. Yeah, that's it's three thousand fibers per tow. Yeah, and it's 225 grams per square meter. It's finer, and it looks nice when it's finished. That's why you use it on the outside. Yes. It hasn't got as much structural strength there, has it? 3K. 3K carbon. Which so that's big. just the first layer of carbon down. It's the first layer. It's the layer you'll see when the mould comes yeah. out. Like, comes out the mold. No resin on there yet. It's just yeah. ready. It's getting ready for its resin. Yeah. Amy's a brilliant. So, uh... What a liar. We've, uh... We've put all the carbon in. We've put all the resin in. Paul's just finishing off. And then tomorrow morning, we'll come back and remove it and see what it looks like. I've got high hopes. What's it going to look like, Tom? It's going to look like a badass bumper. It's what it's going to look like. A birdie. And it's going to weigh how much? 3.6 kilos. It's actually a lower valance. I'm going for four. Yeah, it's a lower valance. It's not a bumper, is it? The bumper is the uh, chrome things. Oh, yeah. It's not a filler bit. Get it right, Tom. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. As the sun dips below the Norfolk horizon, the team is eager to find out if their newly made lower valance will fit the car. If it's a success, they can move forward with a proper fabrication, ensuring the highest quality part possible. Morning can't come soon enough. Paul's just demolding the uh, the first carbon panel. Look at that. 
Just need a trimming and a little bit of sanding and it's a bumper. Oh, and it's super light. Is it? Yeah. 8.8 .8 kilo, 8.8. .8. So this is what's popped out of the mold after the wet layup. So it's not, it's not perfect. We know that, we know that. Um, but, it's a, good, uh, it's a good test to see if that bumper fits. We were just making a quick and dirty part to make sure that that mould fitted the, the car, really. Yeah. And now we know it fits, we can do it properly. either make a proper one or tidy this on it. We do it in Fusion, the next one. Or, I yeah. think we do a vacuum bag. I think that mould doesn't have flanges, so in Fusion will be difficult. Uh, okay. You need something, you know. That'd be great. I just think if we bag it, it'll be fun. Yeah, it will be fun. Excellent, it's a good start. First bit of carbon fibre, Paul. Perfect. And it is solid. Lovely. So, Lovely so are you, you're just going to cut that up? To, you're going to cut that up to the you know off what? It's a lot stiffer than like, the, the, the fiberglass bumpers yeah, 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 yeah. that we've bought in the past. That's yeah, a definitely. nice. That'll last better. Mm. Yeah. So you just got to trim it up and then. Offer yeah, it up. just literally trim it up, offer it up, clamp it up, drill some holes. Yeah. Up. Yeah. See how it looks. With the trial balance complete, Paul's next task is to trim the panel edges and drill the necessary holes to fit it onto the car. This step is critical. If it doesn't align with the upper balance, it's back to the drawing board. The pressure is on. Hey you! Yes you! Hi! It's me again. First off, the team wants to say a massive thank you to the 22 of you who hit that subscribe button after the last Camaro video. Your support is really helping us reach a wider audience. The team is so close to hitting that 1,000 subscriber milestone. So if you're enjoying the videos and want to keep up with the build, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an upload from Rock Up Racing. Now let's get back to that bumper or, I mean, balance. It fits, which is awesome. So now we're going to make another one using a vacuum bag, which will give you an overall better quality part. And we should just be able to use it on the car. In the meantime, Paul has been fiberglassing other parts, other panels that we've got. So uh, let's take a look at what we've got. That was the uh, spray tap, just the residual of that. Yeah, it's gone off now. So yeah. this is the part, this is the uh, part of the boot, isn't it? The top bit. The yeah, this is the top bit. Um, That's the filler panel, no, this is Charlie. The filler panel of the boot, though, isn't it? This is the bottom part, and this bit here filler panel. goes on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah from the boot. But so, Apart from a little bit of a clean now, because it's got dust that on it. That mould is beautiful. It's absolutely ready for uh, carbon fibre. Absolutely smash that mould, that's great. So this part you're making the mould, that's the top bit of the boot, isn't it? That's it, yeah, yeah. That's the bit that goes around the windscreen, rear windscreen as well. Yeah. So, so that bit, so this bit here like on the table is this panel here. So, and the one that's behind him is, is this one. So that's that one. Now that they know the lower valance fits, the team has ordered more materials to create what they hope will be the final version for the car. In the meantime, Paul is busy fiberglassing the next panels in their homemade carbon fiber production line. With so many panels still to go and the clock ticking, the pressure is mounting. Is this challenge just a step too far for the team to conquer?